strange book of Amarthi who lived underground as Earth's king of the world, among other mysterious descriptions. In 1922, a book was published that caused quite a stir. The critics did not know if they should describe it as a novel out of the realm of fantasy or if it was a realistic narrative of an adventurous traveler. The title of the mysterious book was People, Animals and Gods, and its author was a shadowy political figure, the Polish writer and explorer Ferdinand Antony Osadowski. Within three years, the book had sold more than 300,000 copies and was translated into almost all European languages. However, it was not a book with art claims. On the contrary, it was rather misspelled. But his narratives were paradoxical, unprecedented, bizarre, literally unbelievable. The author, who had been captured as a prisoner of war by Russians, managed to escape a year after the October Revolution. He reached a European port in China, Harbin, Manchuria. In his book, then, our Sadowski recounts his adventures in unknown lands. He began his story with how he managed to leave Russia, cross hundreds of kilometers of this vast country, and how he once found himself in Mongolia. There he developed a close relationship with one of the contempor his contemporaries, Roman von Unger Sternberg, the infamous Crazy Baron, as he was called because of his authoritarian and cruel nature during the Russian Civil War. Pro-monarch von Ungern, after seizing Mongolia from the Chinese rule, turned it against all of Europe and Asia. Osadowski argued in his book that in some Asian countries, such as Mongolia and Tibet, mysterious supernatural powers, dark demons and powerful magical preva magicians prevailed. In fact, he said that in Tibet, he was able to see his family who were in Poland using magic. He also met Buddhist monks who had been entrusted with their sacred uh, secrets. He had been given an ancient manuscript that told the story of an underground people living below the surface of the earth whom Buddhist priests called the kingdom of, of Amarthi. The ruler of these legendary Amarthi was the king of the world. The Amarthi were all demigods and their purpose was to prepare the polygenesis of humanity when worldly human complete, humanity completes its cycle of errors, arbitrariness and crimes on the planet. All these, however, Osadowski narrated without art, without sophistication, without wanting to make his narration fun, enjoyable and literary. They were narrated with the simplicity of a browser, which he copied only from his draft notebook. And this is exactly where the whole lure of his writing lay. In the persuasiveness, many of his narratives, after all, embossed many historical events of that period, with references to specific people and events. Others, however, seemed to reject logic itself. He mentioned incredible incidents of practicing magic and elaborate tricks, which he seems unbelievable to nail down, described the appearance of spirits after being invoked by priests and, in fact, after uh, terrible things that they did in the vast areas of Mon around Mongolia and even China. As Ferdinand Antony Asadowski claimed, there was a unique people who ignored every country other than their own, every other god besides the Xanaos they worshipped, and every other science beyond their state magic. Thus, animals, gods, and humans lived in complete harmony with the consciousness of the, this people. Many scholars of that time rushed to accuse the author of mythomania, even plagiarism, but the Polish explorer simply re replied that those who did not see with their own eyes what he saw with his own eyes would find it very difficult to believe him. He stubbornly insisted that everything he said in his book was absolutely true, but very far and very different from the habits and ways of life of the Western world. This was published in a Greek newspaper of the nation, Ethnos, in uh, uh, third, uh, the, on, uh, on uh, the 8th of March of 1925. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I've translated for you uh, from a Greek article. Thank you. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.